You can hear Aretha Franklin in any female who makes the hair stand up on your neck when they sing. You know that they were inspired by Aretha Franklin. Aretha Louise Franklin is one of the most honored female singers of the last 50 years. With 18 Grammy Awards and 45 top hits, Franklin is often referred to as the Queen of Soul, but she can sing anything from jazz and blues to pop and opera. She is someone who can reach the highest notes and capture the most soulful moments in a song. She's got this tremendous gospel energy that she's coming from, even when she's doing more traditional R&B, secular music. She really is the kind of singer that feels like she's singing right towards you. Franklin hit superstardom in the late 60s and early 70s with hits like Natural Woman, Think, and I Never Loved a Man. Producers have loved working with her because she's not just the person who comes into a studio and gets told what to do. She actually knows instruments. She plays the piano. She knows how to write. She actually knows her craft, and people really respected that about Aretha Franklin. Born in 1942 in Memphis and raised in Detroit, Franklin was a musical prodigy. Smokey Robinson tells a great story of going to the Franklin's house and hearing this incredible voice in the other room and hearing this incredible piano being played in the other room. Walks in there and can't believe, just absolutely cannot believe it's from a child. Franklin's musical roots lie in the Detroit church where her father, Reverend C.L. Franklin, one of the most legendary African-American preachers in the country, presided. He was friends with people like Martin Luther King Jr. And so Aretha really grew up in the thick of the civil rights movement with some of the biggest and most iconic figures of that time. And it was Franklin's interpretation of the Otis Redding song, Respect, that gave the civil rights movement an anthem. You couldn't find a more socially relevant record, uh, certainly uh, of the African-American persuasion, than Respect. It summed up everything that was going on. When you think of Aretha Franklin, you think of respect, R-E-S-P-E-C-T. The way she did that song, it was such an important song for her at that time. She recorded numerous other hits throughout the 70s, like Rock Steady, I Say a Little Prayer, and Spanish Harlem. Aretha's music is timeless. I mean, it is stirring of the soul. It makes you want to get up and dance. It makes you feel like you're in church, but you could, you know, move and groove to it. In 1980, Franklin co-starred in the Blues Brothers movie and signed with legendary producer Clive Davis, a partnership that produced three number one hits, Freeway of Love, Who's Zooming Who, and I Knew You Were Waiting. She was recording music with George Michael. People who were making music in the 60s weren't updating their sounds to be relevant in the 1980s, and Aretha Franklin was able to do that, and she still is doing that right now. She has managed to continue to stay relevant. Aretha Franklin has been a central figure in American culture for five decades, starting in 1968 when she appeared on the cover of Time, to 1987 when she was the first female artist inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, to singing at the inauguration of President Barack Obama. You can't not love Aretha. She's like one of those quintessential sounds of America, like the Beatles, like the Stones, like Louis Armstrong, you know, and then there's Aretha.